Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Endzone, the A World Apart. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Endzone, A World Apart, and our playthrough on Advanced Difficulty. Well, last time we did a couple of nice things. First and foremost, we've set up our defenses. We now have watchtowers that are, some of them currently being filled up with bullets. We are lacking a few bullets, but we have a ammunition factory down here and up here that are currently working on just that. So that means that the next time that we get some raiders, they are going to be uh, having some issues with uh, sort of demanding anything from us. Some almost looking forward to that a little bit we we will see when they get here we've also set up uh, some coal uh, coal mining which uh, hopefully is gonna mean that our coal production problem is not gonna be a problem anymore and uh, that means that we are now producing a lot of wood which is you know not a bad thing at all it means that we can start doing some more decorations Potentially, as well as some, uh, as well as some research. And as for research, we have just begun the scrap catcher research. And yeah, as you can see, 246 wood in there has not been deducted from that just yet. So, absolutely, we're going to use some for this. And yeah, that is going to be really good for us, especially for, uh, especially for this scrapyard because they don't really have access to a whole lot of scrap close by. There uh, might be some scrap that I want to remove, like the scrap over here, specifically, because, yeah, we are sort of setting up our next little uh, part of town over here, so might want this area to be cleared, now that I mention it. Yeah, focus on that, please. Remove all of that, and is there anything in here? Nope, there's really nothing in this area where I... I'm planning on putting my forest, so to speak, because we're going to do basically the same as we are here. We have one forest over here. We have one forest over here. Then, of course, we can start going down here. There's a lot of space here. There is a lot of space here. So, yeah, there are some things that we could utilize for sure. And, uh, I mean, this scrap catcher, or scrap catcher, no, scrap yard. This scrap yard still has 950, but if you think about it, it had 3,000 from the beginning, or almost 3,000. So we've, I think we've uh, scrapped about, would that be 1,800 or something? We've scrapped a lot. <laughs> so, as you can see, it goes down fast. So those scrap catchers are going to be a good thing. So that is uh, some of the things that we've been doing, and otherwise we have been exploring and stuff. Uh, we have a couple of explorers coming back, but one important thing that we got was hemp. And what can you do with hemp? Well, you can roll joints. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that we need to do a new thing. That is not in food, it's in community, right? Yeah, the pub. We are going to do ourselves some pubs. So, where better to place the pub than right next to the school? Absolutely beautiful. We're going to do one over here, and we are going to do one over here. I think, if I can fit one. I don't want to impose too much on the forest. I mean, the forest comes into... Yeah, it's basically just here. So, I mean, I could go down here, I guess. I haven't really set this up nicely for a pub, though. I do want a pub down here. For the people living here, but... Because uh, I don't really... I mean, I could put a pub here. And have it sort of central instead. You know what? That's, that's actually better. Yes. Let's put a pub... Uh, Right here. That's good. And uh, we're, we're going to see what we can and cannot do with the pub once that's built. Right, so uh, what else are we doing? I don't think we're doing much else right now, so let's just keep time ticking along. Uh, you say, yep, yeah, we now need some pub keepers. We have some settlers. What are we necessarily needing we are we could do some more technicians although tools are fine for now but no i would like to get a i would like to get at least two more technicians in i could actually go for some more water it's not like we're lacking water but uh we could go for some more water 
Could also increase fishing. Uh, we only have two for now, so I could go up to three in each. So that's one thing. Now, also, one thing that I've been thinking about a bit, and I'm gonna try this right now, is that when we eventually uh, research paved roads, I can start filling in sort of the blanks between buildings. But I wanna see what that looks like, and we can do it with the dirt road. I wanna see what it looks like if I do a sort of 3x3 three three here. What does that look like? Because this game, unlike Banished, you they sort of build the roads together if you build two next by two shells. Well, actually, they do that in Banished as well, don't they? So, like, if we do this... Come on, build the, build the last road as well, please. I, re I realize that you're doing stuff, but yeah, okay, so if we... This basically becomes a sort of a dirt patch. And if we go even uh, one more, so it's four by four instead. See you do that. Yeah, see, it's just basically a dirt patch instead. It doesn't really look like a road even. That is uh, that is useful information. We're gonna remove that for now, but that means that I can sort of start filling in stuff in between here. For example, I'm not gonna build necessarily anything here. I mean, I could. This is the expedition station and the town center. I mean, we could uh, could do some like lamps and stuff. That might be a thing. But uh, hmm, yeah, whatever. Let's keep typing along. Uh, also, by the way, now that we're actually doing well on wood and scrap, you've uh, almost got all your wood. But uh, in this number, uh, as it says, we have 286 in stock, but 82 is reserved. It's time! It is time to start doing some wind turbines. They don't take a whole lot of uh, wood and scrap, but they are taking uh, metal. And metal, well, we had issues with metal, but we have 231 metal right now. So, let's start building some wind turbines. So, uh, you want to place them, them separately. So, let's say, for example, if we cannot start, put, place one there, that's a bit annoying. We can place one here. So if I want to place one here, as you can see, the efficiency will be just 70. So we want to build it a ways away. So for closest that we can over here, that's another one. Uh, we could do one sort of over here. Yeah, that's good. We can do one not there. Can we do one? Yeah, there we go. So let's start with those three. And I do want to place out roads as well. So, oh, I hadn't even placed our roads here. Uh, so we have roads here, but where can we can we draw roads? Yeah, we can. We can as well. Uh, so here, and did I not place it? I didn't place it next to the building, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, do a road in here, and again, I missed the roads here. That's annoying, I did. Same thing here. Roads, come on, roads, roads, roads. How are we doing with coal? We are starting to get into the positives here. That is good. The supply limit I'm gonna raise as well to 200 for now. So yeah, uh, food and water. Yeah, I mean, water isn't really increasing that much. And oh, <laughs> I've said it before. Look away like a second and all of a sudden you have like billions of settlers. Uh, let's jam some of them into water carrying. And I could actually see myself getting some more logisticians. So let's do that. Uh, I would assume that... Yeah, you are still maxed out. Is the production limit only 50? Didn't I increase that? Let's increase it to 100 so you can keep doing it. Um... Have you returned? You have returned. So that's the that's an important thing. Oh, that that's why we got an influx of settlers because those were expeditioners. <laughs> that's true. Uh, this place we have completely emptied, so let's mark that for uh, salvage. We can do the nuclear power plant. This isn't slightly. I don't know how important it is, but uh, oh, actually, you know what? This was one of the things that I mentioned in the. Uh, first episode, I think, uh, in the playthrough that I did before, when I cleared this out, I could just uh, endlessly 
pick scrap and metal up from it you just replenished uh, they patched that out so now this place isn't important for that reason uh, can I even do this because the oh they only want one young person that's a good then that is good but oh we haven't done any radiation suits that's true we might need to start going over to radiation suits that is also you know not a bad thing uh this greenhouse we can also mark for salvaging they really want to go want us to go here well sure we will go here uh one water carrier we have a miner that's fine uh we do need a medic as well we have one down here you are a logistician for some reason but that's fine so everyone with metal tools let's do let's do 12 again and activated carbon masks so uh that being said we are i'm gonna have to look a bit more on my coal production because yeah this takes four coal instead of two here and plastic currently is fine but I don't think, think that we're producing... Yeah, we are producing plastic in one at least. So I don't think that we're using a whole lot of plastic. Yeah, so none of these are using plastic either. That is fine. Yeah, I know that a drought is coming. That's okay. How are you doing? You have just begun your research on the scrap catcher. Beautiful. Looking forward to that. So you guys are... I didn't bring enough people. Oh, shoot. Ah, well, that's fine. Uh, I brought enough expedition rations to do the thing, I think. And then we can send another another set of people to just pick everything up. That's, uh, that's okay. Fine. Yeah, never mind. Right, 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 right. Ooh, we're getting some uh, homeless stuff here. Now, in this uh, part of town, we have three of these well, uh, parts with houses and two shelters. We have two shelters here, but only two of the housing thing that I do. Let's build uh, Let's build one more. Let's build one more up here. So let's do uh, one. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Keep doing it the way that I like to do it with the road there we go and do you like life i don't know we'll see if you if you complain and you have arrived when you take a look around here what comes to mind is one of the sayings from that old thick tome how did it go the preacher from the end zone always read it out loud to the children right turn swords into plowshares with that in mind where should we start, Chief? I have no idea because I, I, I don't know how that pertains to this, really. But whatever. So yeah, we do have some potential research utensils here. So let's uh, start with the east side. So my guess is that there are no good pickings here, Chief, besides the remains from a few tents, a landing platform and a watchtower. An old hangar is about the most interesting of what's left. And someone with scouting experience might be able to do something. So we have a whole bunch of stuff. Let's start with the interesting one, the hangar. Uh, the door was able to be pried open with no further ado, Chief. There are sh shelves full of metal parts and a half dismantled helicopter in here. It's a safe bet it won't fly anymore, but uh, what we could do is to strip it down even further. And they are successful. Nice. So, it was uh, more complicated than imagined, but in return we were a even able to remove a few electronics, co electronic components without damaging them. So, scrap metal and electronics, as well as some people being scrap collectors. And by the way, there was a protective mask still lying on the pilot's seat. It looks completely different from the mask we know. Seems to be a special filter attached to it. We'll take it with us, and that means we get some research utensils. Good. And the helipad. Hmm, this must be a landing platform for those helicopters. Very astute observation there. Uh, I saw it once in a video from the era way back when. Hard to imagine simply climbing aboard a thing like that and then soaring across the skies. On the other hand, sadly, there are no good pickings here, Chief. All that's left over here are uh, a few crates, but we can pry them open. And we do need to have the tools for that, so actually finding some tools yep no problem primarily it seems to be some kind of springs bolts and stuff like that maybe they used to used to be used to repair those helicopters so 
can get some tools back, not a problem. Watchtower. I can't imagine that we'll find anything up here, but with the view from up top, it's worth it for sure. Ooh, some joints. Uh, it's an amazing view from up here, Chief. You can even spot our expedition station in the distance. And what's more, we found something here. Someone hit a small box between the floorboards. Probably one of those soldiers who were stationed here. Our veteran naturally recognized it right away. And guess what's inside the tiny box? A few joints, wrapped up nice and tidy in airtight foil. Would they still be any good? I bet they will. And what about the tents then? Those sets are all along since rotten and rusted with nothing left to salvage anymore, except for two of them. Uh, there are a few crates and cabinets still standing in those two other tents. The cabinets with small models and pillboxes inside. The tents were probably once used as a sick bay, and our dock apparently can do something with that. Yep, medicine and iodine tablets. Uh, Doc realized right away that some of the medications can't even really expire, <laughs> or ever really expire. This ought to improve our supplies of medicine and bandages a bit sheaf. Yeah, it's really not easy to get our hands on that stuff, and without it, even a small injury can quickly turn into a real problem. That is true. And we get the pavilion. Uh, there are plants uh, still lying uh, on the cabinet. Uh, looks like they're for one of the tents, just bigger. Sheep, I think it was supposed to be an open-sided pavilion for relaxing whenever it rained or the sun was too much. At any rate, we'll take the plants along with us. Nice. And that's the east side. Then we have the west side. So let's take a look in there. There are two barracks here that we can search. Who knows, maybe there's still loads of equipment uh, left behind inside them. Other than that, a few vehicle wrecks and a container are still standing around. And with the tools, we can do this no problem. So, barracks, we're apparently not super confident about that. Let's start with the container over here. According to the symbol of the container, there might be protective gear inside. Maybe meant for the soldiers after the catastrophe occurred. The container is sealed, but we have the tools. Oh, they just immediately switched out to uh, radiation suits. I like that. There you go. The container is open. See, it always pays off to set off on expeditions well prepared. There are crates inside, but apparently all of them are already opened and empty. No, oh, wait a second. Here's a crate that's still sealed. And there are massive radiation suits inside. Perfect. That is kind of good, actually. So, Rick. And uh, no good pickings here, Chief, uh, but we'll take a look at those rust buckets. At least you can take uh, along any unusable, unusable, any usable parts with the right tools again. So metal, scrap, electronics, bullets and bullets, okay. That's wild, even an old tank is standing around here. Hard to imagine that these things were built for the sole purpose of shooting down other human beings. We really have other things to worry about, don't we, Chief? Well, we have raiders that want to shoot us, so it's not all too different. Uh, in any case, we took everything out of the vehicles that's still usable and wasn't completely rusted out. And that leaves just the barracks. Let's hope that he can do this. Uh, the doors uh, stood wide open, Chief. Inside looks like as if everyone took off head over heels. The cars are lying every which, of, uh, every which way. The lockers are open and clothing and other stuff are scattered all over the floor. After the catastrophe, it's likely that everything plunged into an absolute chaos here in no time at all. But maybe we'll still find a few useful things. And uh, luckily we have someone who's good at scrap catching. So they succeeded. Good job. And it's all wrapped up, Chief. Thanks to our expert, we've uh, probably rounded up everything that's still recyclable somehow. Besides finding some cloth remnants that are still in good shape, we took the old concept part too. We can put the metal to good use. A book was hidden in one of the beds. Listen to this title, Deserting Made Easy, with illustrations and tips from experts. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. Uh, so that means that all of these are done. And yep, yeah, everything's done. Just those two sides. So, let's see what can we bring with us right now. Let's max out. We're gonna have to go back here, like, anyhow. So, let's not be too careful here. So, yeah, they all, they, they all adored the radiation suits. That's fine. Bring the bullets. And, uh, sure, we'll take the cloth as well. And I guess as much scrap as I can. And... Yeah, I think I will go back for the metal and the scrap here. Salute that and get yourself home. Well, that was nice. So, 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 so. Uh, electronics. Yeah, we've already started to hook everything up. That's perfect. So, as we can see now, uh, we need a lot of power. And I don't even know if you can get around with just wind turbines. 
I don't know, because one wind turbine is, you know, necessary for this one. Which uh, sort of means that I could do this. I could do this. I could do another one here. Like, just next by to it here. Yeah. Why not? Come on. Can't build the road here. It's a bit weird, because you don't see it. Uh, but yeah, so what we also can do in electricity is some power grids. So, uh, yeah, you can build the grids on the road. I tend to not want to do that, but... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, ooh, pause, pause, pause. Let, let's do something else first. Yeah, we're gonna build... Okay, fine. Let's uh, set this up perfect first. So we can have uh, you here. Means that you are all gonna be connected. And we'll do one... So that we can connect to that, too. Because I don't think that... Uh, no, you're not connected. So if I do... Where do we have to go? I have to go here. That's a bit weird. Um, is that part of the building? Oh, right. That's the mine. Never mind. Um, yeah, I think that that is a good spot. Because then it hooks up with that one as well. It's already hooked up through here. Uh, right, let's do that. And um, most importantly now, though, we have the scrap catcher. And as you can see, it's uh, not super tiny. <laughs> it's actually quite big. And that is why I wanted the space for it. So we're going to put the scrap catcher right here. Do the uh, road around here as well as here. And we'll do uh, here as well. The second scrap catcher is going to be down here. Ooh, that's annoying. That is annoying. I would have wanted it to fit in there. There. Can, is it better to have it here or here? I think here is the best bet. Yes. So let's do the scrap catcher here. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It means that I have space for something else potentially here. Uh, let's do... Where can I go with this road? It can go here, so let's do just that. There we go. Okay, not there. There we go. Uh, we can fill that in as well. And also roads leading up here and down here. Right. Scrap catchers and electricity. This is going to be a build heavy episode i think <laughs> but yeah electricity uh, they take a lot of electricity they take a lot of electricity just so so much electricity uh, we're gonna have to deal with that and uh yeah you built that one so they're connected uh didn't i build this so that you oh crap that's i thought that you would be connected Oh crap, uh, destroy that one. I wanted you to be connected to the mine as well. Oh, it's way over here if I want that to happen, but that's fine. Build it there instead. That's a better position. I don't know how much they focus on the electricity, by the way, but uh, a bit, I think. There's also some problem with health. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't care. And, uh, yeah, there's some sick people over here. We should be good with wood and scrap, I think, for now. The expedition has returned home. Do I? I think I send them here again. So let's just take you, let's take uh, some settlers here to go there. Uh, 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 where can we find some settlers? I think, I think three is going to be well enough. M maybe not someone who's sick though. So there we go, set out to pick up the last of that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to build, I'm going to build this first I think. We are actually going into the positives on coal. That's very good to see. What are you doing? You are doing just regular research. We uh, opened up one more, but we need uh, another one to get down to five here. 
question is uh, where do we go next uh do we even have yeah we do have knowledge so we can do something that's uh just worth one is that two yeah that is two houses wouldn't be a bad thing uh, but not necessarily important. I think that yes, warehouse. I was talking about that. My warehouses are basically where, where is the warehouse over here? Yeah, it's it's almost full, and um, almost full. So being able to upgrade those, yeah, that's actually that's actually quite useful. So uh, we'll do that. Now, electricity over here. Uh, you, I just realized that you aren't even connected to the mine. That is a bit silly. Uh, put a pole right here. So I'm gonna sort of go slowly here. As slowly as I can. Because what I did in my, uh, my private playthrough, so to speak, is that I just went bonkers with it. And that didn't really work because I wasn't really efficient with the placing of the wind turbines. Well, I think that the solar collector might be, might be a better bet, but uh, we're not really there yet, I think. Because, yeah, that is power production 300, that is 5,000. So, yeah. And one of the scrap collectors were, was considerably damaged due to sharp pieces of scrap. Have we even built it? Yeah, we have. Okay, it's already destroyed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that, that's good. Didn't even begin to do his job and it's already been broken down. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, whatever. Uh, can it be salvaged? I hope so. It's completely damaged. Like, utterly, utterly damaged. Beautiful. Good job all around. Uh, we are coming up to a draw period. How are we looking? Uh, we could actually do some more... Uh, we could do some more food stuff. Uh... Put the fisherman up to eight. Uh, we can do more farmers. Like one, two. Oh, right. Have you built the pub? We probably have built the pub, right? Uh, we have built the pub. And it's going to be joint. So, if you want to do hard liquor, you need uh, something. Is that like berries? Stuff like that? Is that a symbol that is a, a single symbol, or is that a symbol that is like many different things? Uh, what do we have in food? Because it kind of looks like the berry icon. I don't really know. Uh, the joint, that's hemp. Beer is wheat and water. And uh, we are indeed going to start storing hemp. As we have right here. So hemp is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be smokers. Okay, we've arrived at the base. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know. We've, we've already done this. We're just going to loot stuff. We're basically here as pack mules. Okay, so we're going to leave some scrap. That is a-okay. Could have brought more people to get everything, but that's fine. So can you please... Uh, yeah, we are, we are reconstructing that. Very slowly, I have to say. Very slowly indeed. What are you guys focusing on at this point? I don't know what the builders are working on. It's like you're working on many different things at this point, but that's uh, that's fine. So I think that the uh, storeroom is a little bit far away, but we have researched that, so we can actually upgrade it now. And obviously we're just going to click that button immediately. We're actually going to focus on that one. Uh, then we're going to do this. So let's uh, prioritize this. No, no, no. Yeah, keep, keep the building. Is, th is that a button I am... Because wh why did that come up? Because I didn't click the button. That's a bit weird. Yeah, we're prioritizing this. So the wood should go here very fast. I hope. There we go. Come on, build it as well. And down to 50. So basically a double in... Uh, basically a double in uh, how much you can store in it. So that's... Uh, I think that that was a valuable thing that we just did. I think so. I mean, I'm going to say that it was at least. Right. More expeditions. We can now mark this for salvage. That is okay. So we have a factory. And this is where everyone had to be... Uh, Young. 
can we do that now? Have we gotten people that are young? Yes, we have. We have one that just fit the bill for everything. So that means that uh, as long as we pick young people, we can pick anyone. So let's focus on settlers. And that's where the young people are up. Let's do a forest. So let's do a uh, farmer. And we can have a water carrier as well. Hey, aren't all everyone young? No, you were young. Why did I say that you were young? Uh, I still don't have... No, I, I still don't have a technician who's young. Well, that's annoying. Okay, we still can't do that one. Uh, we can do this one. This is a... Not... Pr probably, I say, not as interesting as the other end zone. Because, uh, you know, didn't really need that many people with s specific skills on this occasion. But uh, we'll go here, we'll uh, check the place out, so get all of you, we'll do uh, 12 as I normally do, just to be sure that we can do everything. I don't think that I've had more than 12, I don't even think that I've had 12, but <laughs> I think that that is a good, a good number to be on. Okay, so we have some more uh, electronics here. You... How, how is this red? 300 here and 300 here. How can it be red? How is that even possible? That is a bit weird. Gotta say, that's a bit weird. But let's place a pole here then and see if... Uh, see if that helps. Uh, I mean, the... The four, the, the five wind turbines that I've produced, I mean, it's not even close to what we need for this. And it, it's not even close to be connected to these, and that's even more. So, I don't know if wind turbines are even remotely possible. I mean, over here I can probably fix everything, but uh, when you have this sort of production area, it's really not reasonable. Oh well, uh, how's the scrap catcher doing? 126. So now, uh, yeah, I do want you to remove all of the scrap over there. That is true. I could actually, do before I set up my new area over here, let's uh, hook it up with a road first. And let's do the road. Yeah, that's actually quite perfect. Over here, um, that's one. Over here. And can we get in one more? No, we can't even get in one more, so that's perfect. Let's do the road like that. And since I like it to be a little bit tidy, let's do it like that as well. So let's start with the road. Make sure that we have access, or rather that we have fast access to the road. We still haven't built this one. I don't know why, but we haven't built it. Okay. Um, right. Right, right, right. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing here. Okay. We have arrived. Looks like our facility. We've checked the power supply and the elevator can still be operated. So this one, the elevator is functioning. So let's check the elevator. And well, apparently all the elevator buttons can be pressed. <laughs> That's a good thing. At least they're all lit up. But nothing happens except for the button for the first floor. According to the display, the hydroponic station is supposed to be located there. Let's go there then. The button says that the hydro hydroponic station is located on this floor. Our food is grown there at our facility. I'm eager to see what we'll find here. The elevator is moving, creaking and grating as if it hadn't been used any more for a long time. But it works. Time to shift, the elevator stopped and all of a sudden we're standing in water up to our ankles. Oh, bother. Uh, pieces of skeletons and other objects are floating here and there in the water. What the blazes happened here? Uh, the way it looks, we can get it into the main hall where the plants were kept and watered. Or we'll take a look around the machine room where the pumps are supposed to be too. 
Let's uh, start with the machine room then. Uh, the chief found the defect, uh, apparently, or defect, uh, apparently there was, this there was a malfunction in the pump systems. Instead of evenly distributing all the water that had been stored for to safeguard the survival of the people here, it all got pumped up here. The pump units broke down in the process and immersed everything in er everything underwater from this level down. The people must have drowned a miserable death. We want to at least take a look if we can dismantle the pumps. Let's try and do that. And some scrap and some electronics. Not much salvage here, Chief, but we were able to take uh, apart some of the machinery, despite the state it was in. In any case, I'm afraid we don't stand a chance of pumping the water out of here anymore. We'd be better off just getting out of here. But let's check the main hall too. In a nutshell, everything's underwater here. Some of the plants still seem to be alive, but otherwise everything here is all moldy and permeated with moisture, even when it's not directly standing in water. It's not very pleasant here, and we're poor liquid for something like this, but we'll see when we can fish out to the water sheaf. And we get some... Uh we get some black salsify. Okay, Chief, there's nothing I'd call the least bit pleasant here, but uh, we were able to rescue some plants. What's more, there are some rare plants among them that have medical benefits. So, some herbs. Really, altogether quite unimportant. But, we do get the fish weed technology. That's cool. So now fishing us can be placed closer. There are drawings uh, here in the container that have stayed dry. They... Uh, plan up to set up an aquaculture farms for breeding above ground. They want to supply the fish with special feed, it's all described here. I think it works for our ponds too. Good thing we took a look around here. That is indeed very very good. Go back, there's nothing else. And we should be at 100%, yes. And on this occasion we should be in no trouble with looting everything and get back home. Good good good. So yeah, we did indeed get a free uh, research there for the fish feed. Uh, which is kind of good, because I don't really want to spend research myself on that, because it's not super necessary at this point. Uh, so how are you doing? Still 55. Yeah, because see, this is the reason why you don't want to go this far away. It's a long way to go. Now granted, I am going to build a scrap yard over here as well, and they could probably have done that. But uh, I'm going to do that before we get there. And even with the housing that we built, we are actually getting some housing issues here. Might be that I want to do with a sturdy house. It's not a bad thing. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, what we can do, the hemp weaving mill is obviously good. We can start producing cloth from hemp. Not the worst thing in the world, but we're going to focus on citrus into being pub keepers. So now we can have people be a little bit, uh, you know, happy and all of that. So, the uh, expedition has returned home. We can mark this for the salvaging. So, where do we want to go next? Did any one of my people get the pub keeper badge? Yeah, they did. As well. Well, that's beautiful. But some people actually got the... No, that's that, That's not the pub keeper badge. <laughs> Those are all... all no, no, th th those are all the Explorer badge. No pu Pubkeeper badges from the uh, school, sadly. So we're not going to do that right now. And what do we have here? Clothing store. So uh, apparently it used to be a store for clothing. You can still see a shop window dummy on the ground floor. The building isn't in the best shape anymore, but it does seem, doesn't seem to have been looted yet. Could be worth sending an expedition. Let's, uh, let's do exactly that. So let's we'll start with some... Uh, Settlers, that's a explorer. We do have some bright people, uh, some researchers, but a uh, scrap collector, you can you can go. So let's uh, fill up with settlers. If we have enough, that is. We have one over here. One more, and there we go. Beautiful. Again, same loadout. Metals and activated carbon mass. How are we looking for coal, by the way? We have so much coal. Alright, so that means that it's time to do radiation suits. Good, good, good. Uh, we have zero of those. So we uh, we are maxed out on masks, which means that uh, it is no problem going over to radiation suits for now. Because I would like to do the plant if I can. Right, how are we looking for this now? I don't get how you say that you aren't. That is kind of weird, but okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. If I can get this place hooked up, I'd be very very happy and a little bit surprised. 
but most of it happening. By the way, this is where you want the scrap collector working, and this one isn't. Uh, we didn't, didn't really get to see exactly how much, but yeah, there's about 500 scrap in here now. Which means that uh, you guys are going to be picking up scrap from very, very close by in the future. Once you slowly but surely pick this up. <laughs> I mean, this is where pathing becomes a little bit problematic. You're, I mean, you could have gone up here. It would almost have been faster. Maybe not, to be honest, but sure. And yeah, we are actually running a bit low on water, which means that we need to ramp that up a little bit. So, start putting more people into water collecting. I know that the drought is still on, but it's going to be over any moment now. There we go. So, uh, what I would th was thinking is that... What is the irrigation plant, by the way? So it increases the soil moisture within its range or influence over time. This process consumes water. With the contamination level of the used water, also influences the earth radiation. But where do I... I don't get this one. I mean, I would assume that I build it, like, close here. Like we build it here. Irrigation plants, entrances, blocking areas. I don't know. This is something I haven't been doing at all. No, that, 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 that's just the regular. That's just the regular information. That's nothing specific to this one. Planning. Ooh, there's a planning mode. I didn't even know there was a planning mode. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> good, good, good on me there for not knowing that. Uh, oh, well. Uh, expedition. More expeditions. The scout was right. It appears that no one has strayed in here anymore since the catastrophe. Part of the building's wall has broken off, and there's a gaping hole in the hallway on the first floor. We ought to watch out where we step. That sounds like a really, really good plan. So, ooh, there's a lot of stuff, and actually, research utensils, you say? Well, uh, let's start with the ground floor. And down here was probably the sales room. It seems like there's a small storage room too. Okay, so let's start with the storage. Door is open. There are lots of pieces of clothing in here. Some still packed in boxes. Collection, July 2026. To, dis to dispose of. It's written about half of the boxes. Collection, August 2026. is written on the other half. Sounds as if the people used to sort out clothes and already throw them away a month later. <laughs> but why in blazes anyone ought to do something like that? All the clothes still look as good as new. Crazy thing, right? That's pretty strange after all this time. Must be because of the high percentage of plastic in the fabrics, but that suits us just fine. That's a whole lot of cloth, by the way. And in the sales room, besides a few pieces of clothing and the shop window dummy, there's an electronic cash register system still standing in a corner that we can take apart. And someone got the tater bash from that. Alrighty, we can still make use of the cloth and we've removed the usable parts from the cash register. We'll take the mannequin along too. It's a sure thing. It'll make work easier for our tailors. Good, good, good. Let's do the first floor. Uh, the floor was apparently once part of the store, except that half of the half of hallway has caved in here. But there's still another room we can take a look at. The showroom. These shelves in here are still full of old pieces of clothing. We can make good use of the cloth. And that's a whole bunch more cloth. Uh, awesome! That ought to help replenish our stockpile inventories. If we were only able to simply, simply find everything we need to survive in a store. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Second floor. Uh, they seem to be completely normal par apartments uh, that don't have anything to do with the store anymore. Doesn't seem to be anything special, but maybe we'll find something. Meanwhile, we're real uh, we're real experts when it comes to combing through all the ruins. So, first apartment. People are happy about this. We gathered up pretty much all the stuff that is usable. Fixtures and furnishings, electronic uh, appliances and equipment, pieces of clothing, and even a few old comic books that we nearly would have overlooked in the midst of a stack of paper. Bunker Boys Adventures in Wasteland. Uh, we're the people used to dream up just for fun, but at least it's some enjoyable reading for the trip home. Oh, that's that's a sad thing to say. We're the we're oh we're, sorry, I misread that. I, I, I misread it as we're that people used to dream up just for fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, people people dream dream above this sort of thing for fun, but in this game it's reality. That's also sad. So, second apartment. Holy moly, the whole apartment is stuffed full of all kinds of junk and old newspapers. 
Can't even picture us living like this in the end zone, but whatever, we'll take a look around. And a piece of uh, the floor gave away, but, it was still, but I was still able to hold tight to all the junk here. Nothing happened. There were no good pickings here anyway, almost all of it was garbage. And that leads us to the important one, the third floor. Hey, at some point this was probably an apartment too. A bit small, cramped, and the roof slopes down in here, but at least it offers a lovely view. Let's see if we can find something valuable. There's even a telescope standing in front of the window here. Our researcher thinks we could make good use for it for future research. Or is it that good? Well, we found the nation was merely a little bit of stuff to recycle, but we have the telescope to make up for that. So not only knowledge, but... Did we get utensils? We didn't get utensils. Oh, that's annoying. Well, knowledge is also good, I guess. So bring the uh, plastic. Yes, we're actually... Ooh, we're, I'm not saying we're running low, but we could go higher. We could absolutely go higher. Um, let's bring everything but the scrap. And again, scrap isn't that hard to come by. So loot all of that and return. Safe trip home. And Courtney. Hey, Chief, our little excursion gave me a bright idea. Now that we have a tailor's dummy in cloth, maybe we ought to make, take advantage of the new equipment and provide our tailors with an opportunity to try out new techniques. So that is going to fire up a quest for the advanced uh, tailor, then, I would presume. But, okay. Well, actually, no. But for some reason, they wanted us to do neck scarves. Like so many neck scarves. But sure. I'll, I'll bite. You do some neck scarves, you mad bastards, you. That's uh, that's okay. And uh, your belt, you have some scrap, have you? Yes, you have depleted that now. So now you can just go here. And, by the way, uh, remove... Can I remove just those things? Okay, never mind. So, uh, yeah, talking about efficiency, 700 scrap over here. Out of a... Uh, what is the max that you can have? I have no idea, but, uh, yeah, oh, no, 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 hoo, hoo, that was close. No, not that building, that building is mine. Don't you dare go to that building, that building is gonna stand forever. Stop it. Move away from the house, Ruben. Oh, they actually took a bit of it, but, uh, yeah, that's why it said it was so much. But yeah, I don't know, uh, it doesn't say how much you can carry. But yeah, as, as I said, this is they're actually focusing on the other stuff, which is, you know, exactly what I wanted, so fair enough. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Now we can just walk back and forth from the scrap catcher, and that is going to bring us all the scrap we need. And we're actually doing really well with scrap. And how are we lacking 19? We have 25 settlers. What the hell happened? <laughs> What the hell happened? Where, where did all those settlers come from? This game sometimes, man. This game. <laughs> okay, well. Well, well, well. We have uh, we have stuff that you can do. Just jam everything into every single... Uh, well, not, not you, because I haven't built that yet. Uh, but yeah, jam everyone into the existing, uh, existing stuff. And we should be pretty damn good. Yeah, it's almost as if we did a little bit too much. Uh, I didn't even do water. Uh, that maybe should have done that first. Uh, no, I am actually running not low on wood, but we could go higher. Let's remove the herbalist. Uh, herbalist is actually not important at all. We have all the medicine and all the herbs, etc., etc., in the world. Let's get more water and okay. So so okay. Uh, kind of need to do like one more shelter uh, 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 how do we want to do this i mean i could do one at the back here i don't necessarily want to do one here because i kind of have a mind to do other stuff in this area so sure this is a place where we could do one and this uh, whole place can we fit one next to this by the way that would be kind of kind of cool. Yeah, we can as well. Okay, so where? How large are you? That is uh, at the end. So one, one, two. Yeah, that's perfect. So here, can we fit it in? Oh, that is just beautiful. Get you in there. 
do a road around this one as well. Uh, that is there, right? So road here, up here. And oh, look at look at that! Just look how perfectly that matches up. Beautiful. And you are not gonna like life, so we're gonna make sure that we do some lamps, etc. Immediately. There's no reason to wait for that. So uh, which way do I want it? Let's do it like that. And. Then let's do the other one the other way. Uh, no, actually, let's do it. No, let, let's do it like that. That's fine. And uh, let's do some flower beds next to it. Like so and so. And can we fit in a scrap totem over here? Yes, we can fit in a scrap totem right over here. So hopefully that's going to be enough, and then we shall remove some road over here. Think about that should be enough. And as soon as we've done that, another shelter. Now, you can obviously upgrade the shelters as well to fit more people, but uh, I don't necessarily want to spend re research on that. Uh, by the way, research, we can do something. So where do I want to go? I don't know exactly what the priority is here. I might want to go with the solar collector. Yeah, let's do that. I want uh, electricity. So, uh, because this place is not happening. It's not happening at all. I didn't build anything more though, but yeah. Also, we are, we are running low on scrap, aren't we? Or rather, we are running low on plastic. So... You cloth people, move over to plastic now. And we've done the next scarves. Uh, next thing the tailors are going to try a lock on a carbon mask. But besides uh, cloth, we also need to load loads of uh, coal to do that. Okay. So they're sort of going through the motions here, I guess. So move you over to masks. We can actually move you over to masks as well. How many suits do we have? 26. Well, isn't that nice? And that's, uh, that's in stock, so uh, very good. Uh, people, move some more to building, please. Move over to building. Where? What are you guys doing right now? Like, what are you building on? Oh, you're repairing. Oh, fine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Just what I told you to do. Keep repairing. That is uh, correct. We can also build the road here, like so. Is that a too? Oh, that was that was way too much. That's not even not even close. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to sort of incorporate this uh, building just like I wanted. How are we looking here, by the way? Oh, it's actually empty. That's fine because uh, it's just gonna keep uh, coming in. So uh, we'll see if that is enough. I mean, we have so much scrap, by the way, 700 scrap, <laughs> so it's not a problem right now. But yeah, water. Water, water, water. And what I was thinking is, I mean, the water tower is our main storage. Uh, that's uh, 5,000 water. This is 1,000, and the well is just 350, so I could do another water tower just next by here. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I can actually fit a road in there. I didn't even know that. Uh, could do another water collector here somehow. Uh, if we put it like here. And that can pick up from those two as well. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, at this point, we're actually not breaking into our max possible, so let's uh, see how many people we need to work uh, as water collectors or water carriers first. Right, solar collector, here we go. Fun things, many, many fun things. So, uh, I sort of knew that this is actually a bit bigger, but that's fine. We have a very cool spot for it right down here. So let's do a... ooh, that is, that is looking nice and tidy. So let's do a road. If I would do a water tower, 
it cannot fit. Oh, it can actually fit right here. Well, that's perfect then. Good, good, good. Let me see. We can do the road all the way up here. Uh, on the back side here. And up here. Good. So, this solar collector. That is going to be... That's going to be good. It actually doesn't even cost much at all. That's, like, that's nothing. <laughs> For 5,000 power. So that means that uh, I might even take away these. I mean, uh, or is it 5,000 or 3,000? It was... It was 5,000. So about how much do we have here? Like that's 3... Six, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, uh, fifteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. I mean, this little area is half of what this produces. So, uh, so we're gonna break these down. There's absolutely no reason to have these now that I've discovered the solar power plant or whatever we wanna call it. The poles can remain, that's fine. That is A-OK, -okay. not a problem. Uh, have we done the... no, we still haven't done that. Do we have damaged buildings? No. So what are we doing now exactly? Focus on this, please. Everyone do this. Uh, by the way, can I fit roads in here? I have fit, ro fit roads in there already. <laughs> that's good. Okay, get everything there. I mean, you're, you say you need ruins, but you don't need, really need ruins because you have the uh, scrap catcher, so you're fine. That's a bit of a weird, uh, weird uh, uh, alert here, because you do have access to scrap, it's just that you don't have access to actual ruins, or, you know, scrap on the ground. Maybe they ought to look into that we're looking at a drought period here which is gonna uh which is gonna give us probably at least one sandstorm right uh we've done that so oh here we go oh here we go okay i can smell it yeah smell it all the way yeah give it to me i want all of it oh i have no problem going against you by the way you, you seem like a very terrible person. Mike the Mega Devour Devourer. Would be cooler if your name wasn't Mike. <laughs> but sure. Sure, buddy. Uh, no. Refuse to pay, pay tribute. You say that like I would believe it. Okay, so they're coming from down there. Presumably, you will make it past potentially this one or this one. Uh, never mind. It doesn't really matter. We, you are full of bullets. You are full of bullets. What we do now is... We remove a lot of people from their respective jobs. So, for example, we don't need the miners. They are unimportant right now. We don't need the technicians. We don't need the tailors at all. And that's actually enough. Because we just need oh, we just need this to go up to 40. We need, uh, we need to make sure that every single tower is fully operational. That's basically what we're going for here. Uh, that means that we can put some people into these jobs. Right. Come on, then. Here, here they come. Do, 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 do. Just slow down a bit. So where's Mike? What are you doing? Who are you shooting at? So Mike, presumably, is this guy here. Yep, yeah, so here they go. Do, 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 do. Just running around the field. Where will you go? I think that it will be the middle one, right? Uh, gonna be a bit sad if they go up here, to be honest. Because I set that up here, but... Uh, yep, you're coming in here. So now we can see on the little gauge here. Yeah, see, they're taking some damage, I think. I hope that we have... Yeah, here we go. Start shooting, start shooting. I think that this is their... I mean, I would assume that this is theirs. I don't know exactly how it works, but... Uh, yeah, slowing down time. We're shooting. We're shooting in our very cool tower here. We're not killing. Oh, they actually destroyed us. Oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. 
Because that means that they're going to go through here. Oh, crap. So that was actually not enough. Does that mean that I need more defenses? Because now we're shooting up stuff, but we are going to be able to catch them over here. Right? Huh, so what happened there exactly? Because you were here, you used some bullets. Hmm. Don't rightly know exactly what happened there. Or sort of how to think about that. Does that mean that I need more watchtowers? That might actually be it. More watchtowers. Because one watch watchtower was actually destroyed before we could ever even get to them completely. Well, okay, we know we know that now. We're not going to get another ra raid anytime soon. By the way, yeah, you we haven't built these things yet, so that's why you're mm. feeling a little bit sad. Wait and see. Okay. I'll be back. So view the losses here. So we used 82 rounds of bullets. Yeah, see, they looted a lot from me. Well, okay, not super much, but uh, a fair whack still. That's 600 scrap. That's not that good, to be honest. Uh, okay. Hmm. Leave us in peace, you bastards. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, slightly less uh, good than I was hoping for, to be honest. Okay, well... Uh, mm. Need to think a little bit more about that, I think. Uh, but for now, that's fine. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're still looking pretty damn good, so... <laughs> pretty solid, still. Uh, how many? One, two, three, I hit five. Put you down to 15. Let's increase water carriers up to max here. Refiners up to max. Tailors up to max. Don't really need that many miners, I think. I think we're fine like that. Good, good, good. Right, okay. We were able to do something to the raiders, but not enough. And that's a bit annoying. And we can fit you in here. That is actually quite perfect. So get you over here. Get the road coming in and around. And I'm gonna surround this with a road. And I'm going to do that just because it's a little bit nice. Right, we are going to set that up and call this an episode. We've had, we've got something to think about. We've got something to think about. Um, we might have to do more watchtowers. Might have to do more watchtowers and overlap them a little bit. Uh, because, I mean, if they want to go through here, for example, they'd have sort of nothing standing in their way besides this one. So I might have to do... I have one here, might want to do one here, might want to do one here, one here, one here, absolutely, and over here, you know, just one here or something like that. We will have to think about that, because uh, we do need more protection. And uh, yeah, the solar collector is done as well. Now, I do realize that the solar protector is just one thing. The negative part of the solar collector, I just realized. And I feel a little bit stupid for not realizing this before. This game obviously has a day and night cycle. So, when it's night, this is not gonna work. <laughs> sort of didn't think about it. Uh, so, I might actually do want the wind turbines. Uh, but there is one thing in uh, electricity, which is the battery. So, uh, can we do the battery? Uh, have we got into that yet? Uh, we only need the knowledge and we can actually get the battery as well. We also do uh, have the ability to discover this electric water pump. Okay, so that, uh, what does that do? Electric water pump pumps water out of the ground without the use of manpower. It requires a connection to a functioning power grid. So that's sort of the first building that we're looking at that actually needs power. Cannot function without it. But with the solar power, we're going to look at what we can and cannot do over here. And I do want to research that battery. How much do we have? One. So we need two more knowledge before we can do that. So, much more of this is going to come in the next episode. For now though, this has been Ghost Met Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.